Hi everyone, welcome to Narej Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, class level variables in Python. Class level variables in Python. In Python. And we know that, we know that Python, Python is object oriented programming language. Python is object oriented programming language. See how we are implementing objects that is already we discussed that in the basic things of object orientation. Here it is a object oriented programming implementation, implementation is using classes, is using classes. So, means what uh, whatever the information you are placing inside the class, inside the class is comes under object as nothing but we are implementing object orientation. Now, the discussion about a class level variables is actually two types of members are there class level members and object level members, class level members and object level members. Now, the discussion about a class level variables. So, actually what are the class level members? What are the class level members? Members. First one is a variable and second one is a method. Inside the class in Python, inside the class, class and every class should have an identity. We can say class name and inside the class we are writing only two things, a set of variables set of variables and set of methods, set of methods. In object oriented programming, so everything you should place inside the class, it is a strict rule. It is like we can say, we are implementing protection. Sir, how can we implement protection? Some encapsulation rules we should implement. So, that is later. And here it is every class is having identity. Now, inside the class what we are writing means what variables and methods. Now, here it is a how to work with the class level variables, how to work with class level variables, one simple program we are writing, one simple program. Here it is, we are defining a class, I am taking editor, we know that python editor ideally I have opened inside the class is we are just writing a name any name you can say like test colon now it starts the indentation is very very important inside the class if you declare any variable any variable with some value this is what we called a class level variable is called a class level variable only this much class. Sir, can I write a functions also? Yes, but please do not say function. In procedural oriented, we can call it as a function. In object oriented, we can call it as a method. We can call it as a method. Here, we are just writing a method define any name you can use, any name. For example, fun we are using, fun. And inside we are writing just one message, one message, just this is like a method, one message I have written and just written statement. This is called a class, with the help of indentation we can understand, all these things comes under class, with the help of indentation you can identify, what are the things? you have written inside the class as comes under class members. Now, I want to access this class level variable and class level function. A strict rule, how to access a method which is inside the class, right? Class level members accessing through class name only, 
direct access is impossible. In procedural oriented programming, you can access a function directly or a variable directly. In object oriented programming, if you write anything inside the class, you have to access with the help of class name only, a strict rule with the help of class name only that is. So, here we are writing, here it is a print, print I am accessing A, I am accessing A value. Here sir, how to access? Can I access directly A value? Can we access directly? Or next one, sir, I want to call this method also fun. Can we access directly? In procedural oriented it is allowed, but in object oriented it is not allowed, it is error. So, whenever we are executing, whenever we are executing error, name A is not defined. Clearly, it is showing that error. It is showing that error. Sir, what we have to do? Very simple. Class level members, you should access using class name. Just follow that rule. And here it is, here we are accessing test dot A with the help of test dot A. And next one here it is whenever we are accessing, just like a test dot. See whenever we are writing test dot in a drop down window, it is showing that what all the members available to access. You can access variable and you can access function that is that id is having that power to show what all the elements you can access by using the class name because already we defined inside now whenever we are executing whenever we are executing now here it is showing that a value is a 10 a value is a 10 and of course the method also sir here suppose can i write a two classes can I write a two classes? So, within so within one python source file, yes of course that is allowed. Like we can say, we can say here the class is a first class. In the first class variable class level variable I have defined, I have defined. Now, we are writing second class, we are writing second class and this fun method, fun method now is available in the second class. This is clearly second class fun method, second class fun method. Now, we are calling that second dot fun, second dot fun, this is. See here, first execution starts here, the control enters into the fun method and you have called using second class. So, second dot fun method executes and it will display this message second class fun method executes. See, whenever we are executing second class fun method, it is showing that output. Now, now, sir, here it is a from the fun method. I want to access first class variable. I want to access first class variable here it is a print i want to access first class a value how to access not direct access again whenever we try to access directly you will get the error see what is the error name a is not defined because already we discussed the class level variables we need to access using class name only. So, that is the reason here it is, here it is a first dot a, the class name dot a. See here it is again it is showing in the drop down box. Now, here whenever we are executing, whenever we are executing, now look at this second class fun method is showing and that first class, first class a value is also showing that is. sir. Just by using the class name, we are allowing to access now. Sir, where is the protection? You are saying that object orientation means what is a secured and of course, 
some of the encapsulation rules if you implement like a private variables right or other access modifiers if you apply so then we can set access permissions what to access what not to access so that will come in a coming concepts okay it is about uh, what is a class level variable and how to access a class level variable so wherever you are either within the class or from the outside class class level members either it is a method or it is a variable accessing using class name only this is okay hope you understood so thank you for watching thank you all mm -hmm.